bought this? Yeah. I'm glad you came. Why? The man needs his gun. Why'd you take it? So you'd come and get it. We're not getting any place. Or are we? What's your name? Rose. I come from Texas, so they call me Texas Rose. It's nice to know you. What's yours? Jack Slade. It's a nice name. It's nice to know you. Real nice. You belong to somebody, who? You. I belong to nobody, and nobody belongs to me. Pretty sure of yourself, aren't you? Take better care of that. Shut up. Don't nobody say nothing. Just don't nobody say nothing. I'll tell you something, Harry. There isn't one of us could outdraw or outshoot him. He ain't got eyes in the back of his head. Don't get any ideas. He's a valuable man. Leave him alone. Where'd you get the kid? He was looking for the hole in the wall. So I showed it to him. Someday, Harry, someone's gonna fill you so full of lead, they'll stake a claim on you. All right, what'd you find out? Well... $15,000 in gold notes. And it's going through to Cheyenne by buckboard. Buckboard? Yeah, buckboard. They figure we ain't gonna hold up no buckboard. They're even taking a couple of passengers with him. A preacher and his wife. Now, ain't that a laugh? What time? Leaving Casper in the morning. Go get a drink. You'll feel better. How is he? Sleeping like a baby. His poor feet. Blisters as big as double eagles. Guess he'll be all right now. If you want me, just holler. Name's Polly. Thanks, Polly. Don't mention it. Hmm. He's cute. Well, come to Texas. I'll be along in a minute. Yeah, sure. See ya. Anything more I can do? Yeah, you can follow Polly. That's no way to treat a lady. Now listen, you. Shh. Now listen, don't you look at me like that. I'm a lady. I've always been a lady. And don't you forget it. Just because I happen to, to be in a place like this doesn't mean I'm not nice. I am nice. I've always been... You're very nice. Oh, Jack. God dang it, talk loud enough so I can hear or else shut up. How you feeling? Just a little sleepy, that's all. Who are you? Texas Rose, Johnny Turner. Hello, Johnny. Hello, Texas. Go tell Billy I'll be right down. You mean school's out? School's out. What happened? Well, I was, guess I was looking for you, and it looks like you found me, huh? You crazy fool. I told you not to come here. 
But why? You're here. Listen, as soon as you can travel, you ride out of here and keep riding. But why? Just keep riding, that's all. Oh, Jack. Another one. Hey, you an angel? <laughs> Ain't nobody ever called me that. What you got? I thought if you woke up, maybe you could use a little medicine. You are an angel. I've got to go now. Sleep well. You can bet on it. Thanks, angel. My compadre wants me to leave a place like this. What's the matter, you jumpy? Make anybody jumpy. Maybe. Especially if they got something to hide. I knew there was something funny about you. You're a Pinkerton man. A dirty, rotten Pinkerton detective. You're a no good pig. <laughs> Harry Sutton, alias Mad Dog, born Butte, Montana, 1850. Height six feet, weight 190 pounds. Deadly gunfighter, vicious, and dangerous. Shoot on sight. Looks like I'm famous. If you've got anything to say. I said it. You're a no good pig. Now go on, walk. I gotta have some shoes. You won't need no shoes. Now go on, walk.
You know anything about this picture? What is there to know? You said he was your friend. I knew him less than a week. You said he was your friend. He was. Who killed him? I wouldn't know. I would. He was shot in the back. What difference does it make? He was after us. Yeah. What difference does it make? He was no good. He said he was my friend and he was no good. Take care of him, Jack. Come on. Can I help you? Polly, you go too. friend. They'll die, Johnny. They'll all die because you died. I promise you. I promise you. 